the month of Ramadan is about to start. Perhaps tonight is the last night of the month of Sha'ban, which means tomorrow night will be the first night of the blessed month of Ramadan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made the month of Ramadan a month of fasting and also the month of <coughs> reciting Quran. Both of these things are powerful intercessors. We always, we always look for someone who can intercede on our behalf, which is fine. First of all, we look for the intercession of our beloved Prophet on the Day of Judgment. We want the Prophet to intercede on our behalf to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the Day of Judgment. May Allah grant all of us that. And we look for intercession of others as well. We look for intercession of angels. We look for intercession of scholars. We look for intercession of the pious predecessors, the righteous people, the pious elders, the scholars, the saints. We look for their intercession because we know that all of them, all of them will be interceding on the Day of Judgment by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But there are two other things that will intercede as well. And that is Siyam and Quran. The Prophet said, wal Quran Fasting and Quran are both, are both going to intercede for the person on the Day of Judgment. So the person who used to fast will receive intercession from his fasting on the Day of Judgment. And the person who used to recite Quran will receive intercession from recitation uh, of Quran on the Day of Judgment. So the fasting will say to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ayra, O oh my Lord, I prevented him from eating and drinking throughout the day. So allow me to intercede on, our, on, on his behalf. And Allah will grant him the power and Allah will accept the intercession of Siyam. And the Quran will say, Oh Allah, I prevented him from sleeping at night, from taking full night in sleep, because he used to do Qiyam al and he used to recite Quran. So allow me to intercede on, her behalf, on his behalf, and Allah will grant Quran the power to intercede and accept the intercession of Quran. So these two things are now going to happen in the month of Ramadan. Make sure you bring Quran on your side. Make sure you bring the fast on your side, the siyam. So they both will intercede on your on your behalf on the day of judgment for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And their intercession is certainly going to be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The intercession of siyam and the intercession of Quran. So live your day in the month of Ramadan with siyam and spend your nights in the month of Ramadan by Quran by listening to Qur'an, by reciting Qur'an, by understanding Qur'an, by engaging with Qur'an. This is the month in which there are countless opportunities to build our bond with Allah and strengthen our bond with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There, there will be no other better opportunity to build your bond with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than the month of Ramadan through fasting, which Allah says, Illa fa'innahu li wa ana That fasting is exclusively for me. And there's no one who is able to give reward for fasting except me myself. Allah says, ah, only I will give the reward of fasting. So that is fasting. And Quran is not even makhluk, by the way. Quran is an attribute of Allah. Quran is the sifa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this should uh, enlighten us with the importance of Quran. That when you are reading Quran, you're actually reading the same words that Allah Himself has spoken. So when you say Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Allah spoke the same words too. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Ar Rahman Ar Rahim, Maliki Deen. So when you are reading Quran, try to fathom the uh, try to fathom the power of Quran. There is no speech in the world, in the universe, that is more powerful than the speech of Allah. And the Quran from beginning to the end is all speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even the names of Fir'aun and people like that that are mentioned in Quran, 
Allah actually spoke of those as well. Those those are now statements of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we should try to enlighten our lives, our hearts with the Quran. We should illuminate our hearts with the light of Quran, with the nur of Quran. And the month of Ramadan is the best time for that, inshallah. The daylight saving time is going to take effect tonight. So adjust your clocks accordingly at night time. So tomorrow the timings of prayers will be according to the new uh, daylight saving time. The timings are not actually going to change, but the, the hours are going to change. So the time for Fajr will change. Zohar will remain at 1 o'clock. But other prayers, Asr, Maghrib, Isha are going to change. So Isha from tomorrow night is going to be at 8.15 inshallah. And if tomorrow night is the month of Ramadan, then we will have Isha and Salat al-Taraweeh. But then after a few days, Salat al-Isha will change to 8.30 and then we'll stay there for perhaps 10 days or so. And then it will change again to 8.45. So now we are moving into longer days. The times are going to change as well, inshallah. Jazakumullah.